Lesson 3.8, count and write to nine. In this lesson, we count to nine, we identify sets of nine, we write nine, the number, and the word nine right and left handed. Here we have the number nine, here we have the word nine, N-I-N-E. Here we have a 10 frame. We have five in the top row, it's full, and we have four in the bottom row. We have a five and a four that make nine. Here we have a row, here we have another row, and here we have another row. We have one, two, three rows, and each row has one, two, three strawberries. We can show nine as three rows of three, three sets of three. We can trace the nine with our right hand for students who write like this. We start here, we go around and back up, and then bounce down to the line right here. Let's try it again. You can do it with me. We go around and up and down to the line. We can do it left-handed. For students who write with this left hand, we start here below the line. We come around and up and down to the line. Let's try it again. We come around and up and down to the line. We can write the number nine for right-handed students who hold a pencil in this hand. We're gonna start here, just below the line. We're gonna go around and up and down to the line. We're going to start here, a little bit below the line. We're going to go around, see how we go to the dashed line? And then we come up to where we started and we come down. Let's try it again. We start here a little bit below the line and we're going to make a ball. We're going to come up to where we started and we're going to come down. That's the number nine. For the word nine, N-I-N-E, we start here at the dashed line for the N. We come down and bounce around to the bottom line. For the I, we start at the dashed line. We come down and we put a little dot above the dashed line. We make another N. We come down and bounce around and we make our E. We pull towards our hand and go around. And notice we stopped at the line for all of the letters. For left-handed students who hold their pencil like this, we're going to start below the line. We're going to pull towards our hand and come around and then go straight down. Let's try it. We start here. We make a ball and come around to where we started and come down to the line. Let's try it again. We start here. We make a ball. And notice that we're making it in the top part above the dashed line. And then we go down to the line. We can write the word nine, N-I-N-E. We start here, we come down to the line and bounce around. We make our I starting at the dashed line and come down and put the dot above the dashed line. We make another N, come down and bounce around. We make our E and push away and come around. Nine. Here we have many boxes of crayons. We can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have five in the top row, like in this 10 frame, and we have four in the bottom row, just like the 10 frame. There's one missing. A 10 frame will have one empty space when it's showing nine. Nine is one less than 10. We have one counter missing. We know it's nine. We can write the number nine. And we have the word nine. There are nine boxes of crayons. Here we have a set of tigers and here we have a set of rhinoceroses. We need to count the animals Write the number and then circle the set that is one less than 10. 
So let's count the tigers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight tigers. Write the number eight. Let's count the rhinoceroses. We have to be very careful that we don't count a rhinoceros two times. If we start here, then we're going to stop with this one. We can put a little mark to help us. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There's nine rhinoceroses. We can call them rhinos for short. We write the number nine. Now, remember when a 10 frame has one missing, it shows nine. And we need to circle the set that is one less than 10. Do you know which, which set is one less than 10? Is it the tigers or is it the rhinos? Which one is one less than 10? Well, looking at a 10 frame, 9 is 1 less than 10. We have one frame that's empty that's missing a counter. So the set that is 1 less than 10 would be the rhinos. We're going to circle them. That is the set that is 1 less than 10. So far, we've learned to write the numbers and the words for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And if you look at all of the words for the numbers, do you notice they're all right on that bottom line? And 6 and 7 is right on the bottom line. But look at the word 8. 8 is the only number that has a letter of the alphabet that goes below the line. The G goes below the line with a little tail into the basement. And even nine is on the line. Eight is the only one we've learned that goes down below the line with the G. So remember when we use a 10 frame to show nine, the 10 frame will have one missing counter because nine is one less than 10. We wouldn't even need to count the counters. We could just look at the 10 frame and see there's one missing and know that there's nine there. Our next lesson, 3.9, we're gonna do some problem solving numbers to nine. We're gonna see how drawing a picture can help us solve a problem. I hope you'll join me and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.